Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to view any apps and services that you've given access to from your Microsoft account and also how to edit and remove them. So if you've ever used like let's say a calendar app that you've tied to your Microsoft account, uh, you probably noticed that it asks for permissions to uh, access your calendar and that type of thing. And even if you stop using it, it still has those uh, credentials. So you might want to come in here and see what you have and remove anything you don't use anymore. So once you go to the apps and services you've given access to website, which I'll put a link for in the description, you can view uh, what apps you have tied to your Microsoft account. So you can see here in this one, I have a few here, even OneDrive, Windows Alarms, this has been used since 2021. If you click on it, it will tell you what permissions it has. Uh, read your profile, create, read, update, and delete your tasks and plans. And if you're not going to use this anymore, just click on remove these permissions. So now that one's gone. And then I have another account here that has a couple different ones. So there's this me calendar that I was playing around with today and I didn't like it, so I uninstalled it. But you could see here that the permissions are still there. So if I click on edit or on the name, it tells you what it has access to. Full access to your calendars, read your profile, and so on. So just click on remove. And now those are gone, so you could just kind of go through and check which ones you've used in the past and see when the last time you used them and then decide if you want to remove them. So we also did a video on this for your Google account because it does the same type of thing. So I'll put a link in the description and you could check that out as well. And then like I said, I'll put a link in the description for the Microsoft one as well. And then you could go through and clean up your unused apps. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.